Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Fly Tying Friday. Tonight we'll be tying the old reliable olive woolly bugger on a size 8 Allen fly fishing streamer hook with a nickel cone head and 12 wraps of .02 lead wire. I'm going to go ahead and attach my thread here and bring it all the way to the bend of the hook. First thing we're going to do is tie in a olive marabou tail. And with, these with this marabou, you want to go ahead and take the tip fibers off this and break it. Just break the tips right off. And that's just the center stem tips though. And what that allows you to do is fold this back and get a nice, just even tip length. And that way you don't have long tips and short tips. It'll just be a nice even tail. So you want to tie this tail in about the length of the hook shank. So we'll just measure that up a little bit. A little longer is okay. Go ahead and tie that in. And we'll trim this a little bit longer than the lead wire there. And that'll give us a nice tapered body leading up to that lead wire and cone head. Alright, now we're going to tie in some Sculpin Olive Brazzy Size Ultra Wire. Using, using wire like this makes the fly really durable and Allows you to catch more fish per fly. It's a pretty awesome technique. So now we're just going to tie in a little bit of chenille. And what I did was I just plucked some fibers off, got down to that core material, and we're going to tie that in. This allows you to keep that bulk down and not build up so much thread bulk towards the back. After we got all that secured, we're going to wrap this chenille towards the head of the fly. Stop right at the cone head there. Secure that. Then we're going to tie in our hackle. So we want to trim this hackle right where the webby feathers start. We want to trim that butt out. These longer webby feather fibers will create a nice head for the fly. So we want to keep those, but you want to trim those fuzzy butt fibers out. <laughs> All right, and just trim a few fibers off the stem there and create a little tooth area for the thread to attach and grab hold of the stem. You want to tie this with the good side of the feather facing up. Go ahead and just start wrapping this. Do a few extra wraps at the head and then start palmering it back. And once you get to the back, we're going to take that wire and capture the tag end of the feather. A nice tight wrap there. And then just work this wire up through the hackle. And if you just go quick, it doesn't really capture many hackle fibers like you would think it would. And it really just secures the entire stem of the feather. Now we're just going to trim all these tag pieces out. You got your feather tip out of the back here, then your wire. What we want to do is just color the, take an olive marker, color your thread, 
few inches up and down. And we can go ahead and whip finish. Just sweep all those fibers back while you whip finish. Cover everything up. And that pretty much does it for the olive woolly bugger. It's a super versatile fly. It'll catch pretty much anything. And you can tie these in whatever size, color variations you like. You can add flash to the tail, add some legs on it. You know, get, get creative with it. But that's your basic woolly bugger, and I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next week on another Fly Tying Friday.